Whiskey a go go, baby. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Vanquish. Off screen, I found out that this happens if you try to aim at the other Marines. The they don't like it very much. Get out of the way. You'll hear it again in a second, but way. Burns is gonna do something too. He's a rare idol animation where he takes a swig from his hip flask. Uh, so let's get this elevator moving on up. Because we're in for an elevator sequence. One of the oldest tropes in video games. This one's a fun one though. I think I can come up with a couple creative ways to end this quickly. Not sure. Incidentally, the other lift appears to be in motion. Our eyes coming up to say hello. We've got company, Bravo. Get ready to roll out the welcome mat. Yes, sir! If there wasn't so much shit in the way, you could actually get a pretty good view of the space station from here. It's pretty cool looking. Maybe we'll look at it later on. Uh, the LFE should take down all of them. No, it left two. That's not bad, though. That LFE kicks ass. Wish its range was a little bit better. Um, in fact, that might actually be one of the upgrades for her. Let me boost up in the air and see if I can get a better vantage point. Not quite what I wanted, but hey, it looks stylish. Did a single bullet hit or did the Marine? Yeah, the Marines finished them off for once. Good job, Marines. Must be all that apple juice I fed the downed ones. Nice. Packing in. Should be okay. All right, Alina. So... Oh, God, I have to push the panel again. I thought Elena was handling all that. Okay, so one's to send the elevator up, another to unlock this door over here. Which, I believe, leads us out to a boss fight. Act 1, Mission 8, Hostile. This is the last act, or uh, the last mission of Act 1. Let's see, I believe, oh, that's the big missile, Romanov. Which, Romanov M? For mortar or missile? Uh, so we'll flick a cigarette. Oh, that was so well timed. I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't even have to go into slow motion for that one. Elena, isn't that Professor Candide? Professor? No doubt about it. Sam, you have to help him. No, but I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, we got a little bit more to deal with before we get to the climax of this act. It's not a very long one. I believe uh, the entirety of it is going to take place here in this arena. Uh, we should clear out as much as possible because I think we're about to have a boss fight. Pretty sure that's coming soon. And uh, just like the... Argus, I want to say this one is on a little bit of a timer before the event begins. So the more you can clear out, the better. Uh, in fact, I'm going to flank them and take them all out with the LFE because I fucking love this gun. Wonder if, uh, wonder if a range upgrade is one of the upgrades for it. I just heard a Wilhelm scream.
You need practice. You didn't think we would be waiting till the end game to fight the main uh, baddie of this, right? Oh, Z uh, Zaitsev. Not Zaitsev. Zaitsev. Victor Zaitsev. So, the climactic end to Act 1 of this is a boss fight against Zaitsev and his bogey suit. That thing looked really stupid, like a, a red spandex skin suit, up until it turned all Epion. Uh, he's no Virgil, but does exactly what you want. This is a very character action trope right here. One that is totally welcome. The rival battle. The Virgil, the Jean, the Lumen Sage. Zaitsev doesn't quite rank up with them, but... It's a fucking fun fight. I'll, I'll give it that much. Uh, he zips all over the place. Uh, he tends to just rain grenades down or fire really strong plasma shots. Those are uh, those EMPs or uh, I believe one of his grenades overheats your suit automatically. I think that happened towards the beginning of the fight, and then he hit me with one of his big laser shots that really hurt. Ooh, and he can really take your cover out if you're not being careful. That's one of the coolest things about this. Ooh, hey! Uh, what? Okay, it's X. I wasn't sure what prompt they wanted me to mash. Maybe it could have been any of them. I won that. Sam goes all G Gundam on him. <laughs> he goes full on Shining Fist. Our business here is done. That's Vidania. No! Fuck me. That's that. That's the end of Act 1. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the first mission of Act 2 now. And tactical challenge are now available. Challenges are now available from the main menu. Um, we'll probably be seeing a couple of those um, when I get a chance. Maybe a little break in the action happens between missions. Not when we're on the lines together. I need to know everything you know. Elena and I do not fall under military jurisdiction, Lieutenant Colonel. I think what you're trying to say is fuck off. Hacking now. Uh, as cool as like Zaitsev's suit is and that fight, he he lacks like he lacks some of the presence that you would expect. That's why I say he's in, like he's no Virgil, he's no Jean. He doesn't have that same swagger to him, you know. He doesn't have that presence, which doesn't make sense because he totally should. Um. He's presented as the, the, the ringleader of a way, way more horrible group than any of the other rivals. I mean, hmm, it's debatable, but still, like, the game starts off with Zaitsev's um, Order of the Russian Star, this military coup, taking over the space station and microwaving San Francisco from space, and it's real graphic and gruesome. So you should There's hate him more than you do, but on the highest level platform. Try hacking it. Okay, let's head for that platform. Sorry if I occasionally interrupt uh, those interlude dialogues. Uh, I try not to do that for the cutscenes in this game. Some of the uh, the interstitial dialogue is just kind of um, less important banter. Uh, you don't really learn a whole lot about narrative or plot or anything like that during those um, codex sequences. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Ooh, it's a lot of grenades. You know what, I'm gonna get closer to those uh, mobile laser cover crabs. They have names, I believe it's a Spanish name that I just, I can't remember what exactly it is, but um, it's irrelevant because mobile laser cover grab is a much better name for them anyway. I don't know why the uh, the I'll just call them jackals. I don't know why the the 
Gorgies are ignoring me. I mean, I know that one on the turret up on the truck can't hit me because of the dead angle. But there was another one that really could have messed my day up. Could have stopped me from doing what I was doing with the aug... Uh, I'm calling everything by the wrong name today. I almost called it the auger. Let's see if I can get him with a cigarette. There we go. The LFE. Real handy sometimes. If I wasn't so hell-bent on upgrading the heavy machine gun, I might put some points into uh, the LFE and see if I can get a range upgrade for it. <sighs> come in handy. I'm pretty close to maxing this thing out, and that's it. Firepower increased by 40%! So we have a I'll maxed out heavy machine gun at the beginning of Act 2 of the game. This thing is gonna shred everything in my path. Uh, Where's the freight transport? The room is on the other side of that door. You'll want to take the stairs in there up a level. Headed there now. That is the ancillary effect of letting me now focus on upgrading a couple other things instead of just focusing a uh, hell bent on the heavy machine gun. This is a really, really cool arena. Uh, I believe this is a rectangular arena. Uh, where is are they moving or is it either side of them um, or maybe everything yeah there are uh, conveyor belts all over the place so your cover is constantly moving away from you which I think is the coolest thing ever I really like gimmicks like this I think these kind of gimmicks are always cool reminds me of that section of uh, Black Ops 1 where you're behind the moving cover when you're breaking out of the prison I just like stuff like this. That reframes the way you uh, you handle the battlefield. You have to be uh, a lot more situationally aware when they start changing elements like this up. Offer some flavor. Uh, Vanquish has some really strong map design for being so linear, but it's still nice to have something like this every now and again. Even without that, I think this room is actually pretty cool because of just the general layout of it. Because the enemies bisect this really long rectangle, right? Uh, they bisect it right down the middle. And it's a really long rectangle. That stretches way back to that back wall. And you can go all the way down either side. Either the left or the right. Um, and... It, but they have the hay gr But they have the high ground. So it's, it's just one of those arenas with a lot of tactical opportunities and a lot of really interesting angles to approach it from. Oh, now I'm having a weapon crisis. Not sure what I want to be picking up. Ah! Oh, wait, that's LFE ammo. There we have that. I'm at that point now where I've kind of shown all the weapons off. And I, I just, I don't know what I feel like using. They really don't shy away from giving you uh, as many weapons as possible early on. Like, they don't save much for later. Which is both good and bad. Ah, damn it, I have the shotgun on. It's going to be really hard to detonate that midair. Ah. Hopefully that at least gets something. Looks like it might have just barely hit something with its splash radius. Maybe not. Ah, uh, if I had the HMG out, I could have shot that in midair. Double the explosion radius, which would have been nice. Okay. Oh, the walker's gotta go. See, that's in the middle, which I don't think I can get to, so I might as well just blow it up. Otherwise, I would kind of try to take the Gorgio on top of it out and ride it around. Yeah, I don't think I, there's a good way through that. I don't know. Yeah, it seems like the LFE just barely doesn't reach. Plus, it seems like the uh, the hitbox of the LFE stops a little bit before the um, the actual visual of the projectile. So the range is shorter than it even looks. Oh, I can get back here. Wait. Oh, I can't get past the burning debris, though. I think. Ah. I guess I can maybe vault around cover around here somewhere. No, they probably block you off from the middle so you can't get on the turrets. At least not here. It's a really cool room, though. It's 
different from anything we've encountered so far. I'm pretty sure Vanquish was actually supposed to be a more open game early on, like a giant battlefield style game, instead of kind of uh, smaller, more intimate arenas like these ones. And they had to pull the scope back because they couldn't make it as impactful or like visually dense as they wanted to. Oh god, that's starting me off next to a Romanom, shit. Uh, this is one of the drill ones, so there should be a weakness on the back. If I can get a good look at that. Oh! Shit, I kicked the cable. Um. Oh, that's not good. Oh, hold on. Okay, we'll just restart that checkpoint. Uh, I was moving my foot around. And I just kind of accidentally kicked that cable. I'm shocked that that EMP actually hit. Now I am definitely getting up on that walker. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, the Romanov stands no goddamn chance. There are two of them. Neither of them stand a chance. Is that a drill one? Romanov D, I think? It's nice that it doesn't damage you. Uh, when the walker you're riding explodes. Uh, it just kind of kicks you off into this canned animation where you fly off. Oh, the LFE is so good! Alright, what do we- ooh! Ooh! Where did that- I'm blind, it's right in front of me. Doesn't have much life left, though. Ah, uh, there's an injured marine, I don't have time to get over to him, so... Maybe I do? Come on, let's kill that Gorgy. Oh, he, oh, I thought... Mm, green text, I thought it was an upgrade box. Alright, that's all I have time for today. We're not going to get much breathing room when I close this screen, so we're going to be starting the next episode with a bang. Till then, thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.